Hello everyone. So this is a second tutorial video looking at the Family Finder module in Radar Opus. So here it is. Uh, before we go into it, I just want to um, take a look around the maps that we have. So I just kind of clicked on the maps icon in the top icon bar. It opens this graphical view. Um, so if you click on the map, you'll open it. This is Grant Bentley's um, homeopathic facial analysis map. So you see when the mouse turns to a hand, I can move through. So these were all the facial indications for um, the red or psychotic miasm. And if you click here, you see that the um, icon turns to the same as the analysis. So that would limit my analysis then to the cancer miasm or the brown, according to his book. <clears throat> and you use command or control Z to undo that limitation. So back to the maps, yeah, you can scroll through using the D-pad or by clicking. Then you can open any of these maps. You can click through to see more detailed information. Press escape to leave the map. And on we go. So here at Anna Vavarkas, so this is her older map, but it also has useful information in here. And obviously you get access to this um, whether or not you buy the family finder. So you can click through to kingdoms, see the different indications for the main kingdoms there, animal, plant and mineral. You can open the sub kingdoms, see more specific themes. And of course these are incorporated into the family finder, which I've already opened. You can get to that from the search icon, clicking on family finder or from the map. You can open it and then click here and that will open it too. So let's go ahead and um, look into this a little more. So you can just enter one word. So you can see the program has this sort of auto correct. So it's like, do you want hidden, hide, hides, hiding? So I can press enter for hidden, enter again, and then we can search. So the psychotic miasm has this um, quality here. If I zoom in, there's a quality of hiding or denying or accepting the problem. Always there like a flaw. So this is the experience of the psychotic miasm. And the information here is coming from Anne's experience in clinic. So escape here will close the zoom window. I can click on the tree, family members or map. So not all of them are linked as yet, but that will be uh, changed in a forthcoming update. If I click on the spiders, Aranie, so it's the Latin name. You'll see on the map here that you get the, the words associated with animal cases. So these are important issues in animal cases. You'll see that the third dimension um, means that there's many complex issues, feelings, cases around survival, how they relate to others. <clears throat> then of course, you can zoom in and go further into the different themes like feigning, being cunning, being sensitive to vibration, anorexia. Yeah, the rhythmical quality in spider remedies. Speediness, alternating with inertia. So also coming through, we've got uh, mollusks. A very different picture there. But there we have the polarity of protection hiding. Okay, sea animals. So any family has this uh, has a, a number and brackets. And if I click on sea animals, not only can I see where it is on the map, so uh, an affinity with road two here. Um, I can also see all the family members, and. In a, again, in a forthcoming update that will be free for anyone who buys the program, you'll be able to right click and search each remedy or go to the keynotes direct from here. We're also adding a, a feature that allows you to search by remedy as well as words or family. And that's the family tree there. <clears throat> okay, so if I add another word. You'll see now the results change. So we've still got psychotic miasm there and Aranier. 
a, a remedy here that uh, I've not heard of um, that comes through with both of those words, which is very interesting. And of course the birds who we know um, the core experience is a feeling of being trapped. So let's put in one more word. <clears throat> Need to escape. Okay, so it hasn't changed it that much until we scroll down and then we'll see the solar and AC have a need need an escape so we can click on any of these um, remedies or families and then zoom in to see the information okay so what I also wanted to show was how you can work with this information in the repertory as well so um, using our search function here I've just entered the word hiding and looked in all repertories and on the left here you can see that the De Grota dream repertory has many um, rubrics with hiding in the lax repertory also the Murphy repertory a new repertory that that I'm bringing out soon and synthesis of course so from here you can just press command enter or control enter and it will start putting all of those into one rubric so this clipboard you can see it counting up it's got to get to 507 and then we'll have a rubric uh, for hiding <clears throat> so while it's going you can still scroll through and look at all of these different um, different repertories and rubrics and I can just tidy that up rename it then I have hidden or hiding the same as what I've done here so any grouped rubric has this asterisk uh, behind it so I've done the um, exactly the same with escape and trapped and that those are my three rubrics so you see that because the um, repertory particularly the one that I've made contains families in it as well you'll see that working with the repertory you'll also get uh, the spiders coming through there and if I move through this repertorization I see the sea animals again so <clears throat> to make it easier for you what I've done is created a repertory called the new and updated families and in here not only do we have uh, rubrics that show you uh, which groups are in the, the second or third dimension and the rows of the family finder but I've also updated the um, number of bird remedies butterflies uh, the drugs so you see a full list here of remedy families that have been that have been added to or updated or newly created so here's one which is a rubric containing all the families so if I now add this to my clipboard click on it and make it eliminative you can see that actually pretty similar results coming through when compared to the family finder so that's another way that you can access family information even just using the search function in the program so um, let's try some different words and see what comes through if I put the word crushed the insects are the only family and it's part of the core experience there another word so crushed or small so small is the core experience of snakes Zoom in on snakes. So again, <clears throat> one could search for these in the repertory too. So here's a rubric that I made. Um, so it's it's using the rubric delusion small body it's smaller, but it's expanding that to include other sources as well. So let me show you how I would do that. Let's just use the uh, eraser to remove that search. So enter two brackets. 
type delusions, vertical line, feeling the line. So that part of the search is telling the program to look for delusions, feelings, or sensations. Okay. Then we enter another. Um, so this is like one portion here. This is our second portion. This is going to be the second group of words we're going to look for. So small. We use the or symbol. Diminished or tiny. Okay. So that closes off the second portion. Then we need one more. A bracket and then we have a full string so it's a little bit like using <clears throat> Excel where you enter a sort of formula the dollar sign specifies a word wrap of three words so now the program knows that it's looking for delusions feelings or sensations of being small diminished or tiny within three words then I'll just say look in all documents please So you can see there's 977 hits. So what I might do is use a document mix to uh, bring that number down slightly. So I'm going to recall a document mix that I made. So I'm going to go to my folder where I keep them, my mix files. And I'm going to go for my reliable mix. Open. So now I've got 265 hits. So what I'm going to do is uh, command enter. Right. There we go. And now I'm making a new rubric for this search. And when that's finished, we'll be able to look at all the remedies that we have. I'll just say yes for that. And then we can see all the remedies that have come through in that search. So it's important then to go, if you're using this tool, uh, it's important to go back and check in your Materia Medica that it hasn't found anything uh, sort of spurious. You see here, it's the feeling in the small of the back. So actually, a lot of that uh, can't be used. So what we should really do is specify to look in the mind section as well. Type mind, scroll down, find mind all chapters, and we'll try that search again. Okay, so now we're back down to 56 hits. So now let's make a um, new rubric, and then we'll see that we've uh, gotten rid of any spurious results there, hopefully. It's still important to check. So let's say we were interested in this remedy, cowrie snail. Go back to the search and now type the remedy. There we go. Enter. And we find that it's in this rubric, delusions diminished, shrunken parts are. Okay, and if you click here, you'll see the other remedies in that particular rubric. So that just about concludes what I wanted to cover today. I hope that video was useful for you. Bye for now.